Hello, my name is Charity Rue. Many of you know me as Rue Cherie on my writing platforms of Wattpad and LitNet. I am 44 years old. I am primarily a fiction writer who throws in elements of romance and surprising plot twists. And I am a mother of two wonderful boys and happily married for 26 years. I believe I always wanted to be a writer. It was just something I truly desired and I didn't really start writing though because I was always an avid reader until they stopped creating the books I wanted to read and then I just started writing and I just couldn't stop. And once I realized that I was a writer was basically when I started writing on platforms like Wattpad and LitNet where I got to see the response to my writing and it was so addictive I just couldn't stop. How long has it taken me to write a book? Well, I, the shortest I've ever taken to write a book was two and a half months for the college romance contest on LitNet and shocked the heck out of me because that's actually the book that won me my literary award. Um, I have actually worked on other novels for four plus years, so it really depends on the book. Writing quirk, huh? Um, I would have to say that my writing quirk is that I torture the heck out of my readers and my characters. I never know what's going to happen next because I'm a total pantser when I write, which means I don't plan at all. So if I don't know what's going to happen next, they're sure as heck not going to know what happens next. So it always seems to be a bit of a surprise. And I just, um, I believe totally in the HEA, Happily Ever After. So although I am going to torture my readers and my poor characters, you can be guaranteed you're going to be happy with the ending. I get my information from the library, from the internet, really from anywhere I can get it from, depending on the story and the type of story that I'm working on. As for ideas, everywhere. Um, that is, I, I, I get my ideas from everywhere and everything and everyone. Um, basically, I, I, for example, my husband had a conversation with me. He was ranting about something he was annoyed with. And he said to me, Charity, sometimes I swear it's like these people shake a magic eight ball and make their decisions. And my brain, unfortunately for my poor husband, just went off and flittered away. And I started thinking, wow, what if you actually wrote a character who made their decisions with a magic eight ball? And hence we have Bryn Shelby in Behind the Eight Ball. most difficult thing about writing for me is research. I sometimes get hung up, especially when I'm writing my historical novels. Um, if you can't find what you're looking for, it can stall you out for months, months and months. And uh, as like I was trying to do with my book Forever Ruined, and it was it was horrible. <laughs> I, I, my poor readers were so upset with me for not updating but I just couldn't find what I was looking for. And thankfully, I had a friend who actually lived in India where these characters were headed towards and she was able to answer some questions for me and got me out of that horrible situation I was in. So you never know where your inspiration is gonna come from that's gonna get you through what you need to get through, but it happens.
surprising thing for me has to be how my characters just seem to come to life. Um, they are almost human to me. Um, they, they, have, they have personality and there are times where I swear they won't let me write certain things. I am determined to say, okay, this part of the story, I'm going to do this. And they just basically tell me no, and <laughs> they won't let me write the part. No matter which way I write it or how I try to write it, it's just horrible. And so I have to write what they want me to write. I am the muse. I, I am the vehicle through which they tell their story. And I think that's probably the most surprising thing about writing. <laughs> say that what changed things for me is publishing on an online platform. Getting the response from my readers and, and hearing what they had to say started to change how I was actually going to structure the story. My first book was From the Ashes and it became a number one book on Wattpad. And the reason for that, I believe in my heart, is because of the writers themselves. It turned into a whodunit kind of mystery and as each time the readers figured out who I was going to make it be, I changed it. And I was having so much fun that I almost wrote myself into a corner because I was running out of characters to blame for the problem and somehow I managed to pull it all together and I blew them all away and it was just such a fun experience. I. I love writing online. For me, a good story is all about the characters. You have memorable characters, memorable dialogue between those characters. You are going to have a great story, hands down. I love the art of conversation. I love the interaction and I love my characters and they just, like I said before, they become real to me and if they become real to me and I care about them, I know my readers are going to care about them and I know they're going to get invested and I know they're going to want to know what happens next. <laughs> one of the traps for an aspiring writer can be trying to write the trends. Uh, it is tempting because you want your book to rank number one and you want the popularity and you try to just do it and most often times it fails miserably uh, because you're not writing from the heart. You're not writing what you love and it shows and your readers can pick up on that. They're very smart and intuitive people and you can't fool them. It's not possible. So if you're an aspiring writer, write from the heart, write what you love and you can't go wrong. Dealing with the stress of writing um, I would have to say I haven't mastered this myself, so I'm not sure I'm the best person to give advice, but what I have done that helps is when I'm not feeling it and I just can't seem to write, I don't force it. I take a break. Uh, getting out in nature, going to your favorite coffee place, uh, getting your favorite latte, taking 10 minutes to just decompress. Uh, helps tremendously to see your story with new eyes and bright ideas. The, whatever the problem is, it will just mend itself. I don't know why that works. It's a mystery, but it works. So give it a shot. actually working on three works in progress. My first is Behind the Eight Ball, my young adult novel, and that's wrapping up soon and I'm excited because it's been a long time coming. My next book is 
Forever Ruined. And this book follows two characters you may have read about in From the Ashes, but it's a totally different story. As it stands alone, it's set in 1812 and follows the East Indy Company. So it's different, but two of the characters that you will just fall in love with. The last is Someone to Watch Over You, which will follow my award-winning book, Someone to Watch Over Me, but it will be from Alex's perspective. I chose Alex because he has recently had so much loss in his life, yet gained so much in meeting Kat and the baby and everything, but now he has more to lose than ever. So I wanted to do the book from his perspective, and it should be available on LitNet soon. You can find my books on LitNet, L-I-T-N-E-T dot -E com. Under the pen name Rue Cherie, I currently have From the Ashes on there for sale, and I'm hoping to offer more books for sale, but I also have several short stories and novels for free. Uh, you can find me on Wattpad.com, again, under the pen name Rue Cherie. I, again, everything on Wattpad is, is free. I, I unfortunately have not gotten involved with their paid stories program just yet. So if that changes in the future, that'd be great. But so far, everything there is available for free. And I also sell my books on Amazon.com. So you can find me under Charity Rue or Rue Cherie. I hope you do. I hope you look me up and I hope you enjoy reading. Thank you, Ernest Wrights, for giving me this opportunity. It's been an amazing process. I really enjoyed it, and I am excited. I hope you've learned a little something about me, and I hope as readers you'll come by so I can learn a little something about you. Uh, be you, be well, be blessed. <laughs>